Hello, hello, good morning, students. This is Mrs. Teixeira. How are you doing? I hope you are doing fine. We are here today to do our exercises six, seven, and the idioms expressions on our book, Achiever C1, Unit 8. So please grab your book and open it on page 83. Okay? Page 83. Yesterday, we had studied some verbs about news. We had studied some words that are a little bit similar, yeah, but they have different meaning, yeah. And now we are going to do the connections. That's what we are going to do. Okay? Here. News is an uncountable noun. We can say a news. So the word news, when we talk about noticias, we cannot use it in the singular form new because if I use new, we're talking about the adjective. Yes, so news is a word that is uncountable. It doesn't have plural or singular form. Okay? So we can say, if you want, a piece of news. Bit of news. Some news. Okay, and news, if we are going to use the verb to be, we are going to use is and not are, because the word doesn't have plural, so it's always is, has, okay, good. Uh, in our exercise six, checking here we have three sentences and one of them is wrong which sentence is the wrong one let's read i have had some surprising news i've had surprising news i've had surprising piece of news which one is the wrong one in your opinion when i use piece, what do I need? A piece of cake. In this case, the wrong is, I have had a surprising piece of news. So here, I should have a surprising piece of news, because a piece, you should have the a piece. Yes, that's why it is wrong. Good. And now we are going to do exercise seven. Choose the correct preposition to complete our sentence. Okay, she has just famous, uh, sorry, she is just famous for being famous. Why is she always in the news or at the news? Which one is the best option? The correct option is in the news. In the news, guys, is something that uh, has been on TV lots of time, has been talked lots of times it's possible to see in the new to say in the news or on the news in the news is something that has been there many times on the news is something that was just reported okay so in the news it has been there many times on the news has it was just reported i'm just not interested in news so i have different kinds of news i have news 
about technologies, about celebrities, about job opportunities, yeah? About sports, about politics. We were about to leave when Carolina came in the news with the car wouldn't start. She came in like com a notícia. She came in with the news that the car wouldn't started. Yes. Number four. Is there any news in your exam result or on your exam result? What is the correct one? On. When I use news, I can say news on, news off. News on is to talk about something um, that was new, okay? So, before something new, exam result is going to be something new for you. And off, news off, when I'm talking about something that was old, okay? It's not new, so, uh, an old topic. So... Here, the exam result is going to be a new topic. So, on the exam result. Uh, she kept us entertaining with the news. Her adventures while traveling. So, she is describing something that she had done in the past. Her traveling. So, the news of her traveling. Did you see the difference? News on, because the exam result is a new topic. Vai citar algo novo. News of, vai citar algo que já foi feito. Um tópico que já é conhecido. Ok? I was shocked about or by the news shocked by the news i had won first prize okay good so remember in the news because is something that they have talked a lot if i say on the news is something new if I say news on, I need a new topic in here. News off, I have an old topic. All right? Great. Now let's check the idioms expressions. Here we have you need to do three things. So, first, you need to match in here. And then, we are going to match with the correct sentence. The first one, don't shot. Don't shot the messenger. It is like this. Não culpar o portador de, ma de más notícias. Let's remember that in the past, uh, during the war, they have a person that visit the family to give them bad news. And the family blame that person for uh, give them bad news. So this is the, the expression, don't shot the messenger. Não culpe quem te trouxe a notícia, okay? Next one, no news is good news. So imagine that someone is in the hospital and you are with yourself, oh, they didn't call me. Maybe because they didn't have anything bad to tell you. <laughs> so no news is good news because if the hospital call you to tell 
uh, something about your family member, probably it's going to be something bad. So if they didn't call you, no news is good news. Did you understand? Se ninguém passou notícia, é porque tem, são coisas boas. Uh, next one is that's news to me. I have never heard about it. That's news to me. And news is spread like wildfire. <coughs> is to talk about a notícia se espalhou. Yes, like wildfire. It's faster to the fire be in the whole forest. Yeah? Now that you match the expressions, we are going to decide which sentence is describing the correct idiom. Okay? So, number one. You say this to make someone feel less worried when they have not received information about someone or something. Is the idea of the hospital. They didn't call me to give me information about someone or something. So, what is the right sentence? No news is good news. So, number two. You say this when you don't want to blame for giving someone bad news. So, I gave you the example of the war, that when someone died, they have a person, a messenger, to visit the family and tell them to give them this bad news. So, don't shut the messenger. It's like, don't blame him. So, number two. Two is B. Sorry, here let's put letter A. Que o de vocês aqui tá com, com letras, né? A, B. Ok. Uh, next one. You say this when you have just told something surprise. That's news to me. And you say this when a piece of news becomes known by more than one people. News is spread like wildfire. Especially between girls. <laughs> We like to talk a lot. Yes? Good. Now, I'm going to show you some exercises that I want that you do them on your notebook, okay? You don't have this on your book. I want that you pause the video and copy the exercise, okay? So, the first exercise that I want that you copy is this. Complete the sentences with the words in the box. So, you have... Catch up on, that is, recuperar o tempo perdido, o atraso. Grab, that is the idea of um, pegar, destacar-se. Leak, vazar. But remember that leak is something negative, yes? Uh, scan, you know. Scoop is the idea of vazar, but be the first one to publish that. And spread is the idea of espalhar-se. So, you are going to use these verbs to complete the sentences. You are going to send me this exercise by email, okay? Let me show you the second exercise. So, pause the video, copy this exercise on a piece of paper, take a picture and send me by email. Okay? Now, the second exercise is this one about the prepositions. 
complete the sentences with the correct preposition, there may be more than one possibility. So you can use more than one option. Okay? Copy on your notebook, pause the video, copy on your notebook, and send me this exercise by email. Okay? All right, I'm going to write here my email if you need, if you don't have it. It is here, but with no caps. Underline F R O H L I C, that is my family name, at hotmail.com. Okay? So when you finish the exercises, please take a photo and send me by email. That's it for today, guys. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day. See you next week. Bye-bye.